Today we explore how to overcome the limited context window of large language models when dealing with large documents. We'll be using a technique called map reduce, which is particularly useful for dense information scenario. I will show you how it works and a simple Python implementation so you can process any document with AI. Let's go. We start with a typical problem when working with LLMs. We have a document, a query, and the model. However, when the document is too large, the LLM can process it in one go due to context size limitations. Before we dive into the solution, we need to ask a crucial question. Is the information in the document dense or sparse relative to the query? In dense scenarios, most parts of the documents are relevant to our query. For example, summarizing an entire document requires processing all of it. In sparse scenarios, only specific parts of the documents are relevant. For instance, finding the main character of a book might only require a small portion of the text. The MapReduce method we are about to explore is particularly well suited for dense information scenarios. Let's say we want to summarize the document. Using MapReduce, it involves three steps, chunking, mapping, and reducing. We start by splitting the document into smaller chunks, each processable by the LLM. So, the size of each chunk should be smaller than the context size limit. Then we write two prompts. The first prompt is used to extract information from each chunk. The second prompt is used to aggregate the information we extracted from each chunk into a final answer. So in our case, the first prompt will extract small summary of each individual chunk and the second prompt will aggregate all those partial summaries into the final summary. Here is how it works in practice. So first, we have all our chunks here. We put them into the prompt and we use the model to get a partial answer. The cool thing here is that we can do this step in parallel. Then we aggregate all the partial answers into the second prompt and we get the final answer. And that's how MapReduce works. MapReduce has some pros and cons. First, it helps you overcome context limitations because you can now process any document size. It's also scalable because you can parallelize the first step, gaining a lot of time. It's also adaptable to different types of queries, like summarizing any type of queries that needs to process the entire document. However, you may lose some contextual coherence between chunks, depends if you drop too much information in the first step. Also, the total length of all processed chunks should fit into the context of the model. It can be a problem if you process too many chunks and have difficulties to fit all the processed information into the second prompt. Regarding applications, MapReduce is useful in many cases. You have document summarization, comprehensive question answering, content analysis of long reports, extracting insights from research papers, processing and analyzing legal documents, and so on. Let's take a look at the implementation. First, we have the imports. We import .env to load environment variables, light LLM to use LLMs, as we will use the entropic model, Wikipedia to grab the document, and TechUDM for the progress bars. We define our parameters, the chunk size, which is at max 15,000 characters, and the query, summarize the concept of transformers. Then we grab the document using the Wikipedia Python package. Then we define a chunker function. It takes as input a sequence of characters and a size and return the list of chunks. Now we define our two prompts. The first prompt is to extract a summary for each chunk. The second prompt is to reduce and get the final answer using all the intermediate summaries. Now we chunk the document using the chunker function and get the chunks. Then we use a loop to apply the first prompt on each chunk and get the mapped chunk. Here is an example of what it looks like. For the first chunk, we get a bullet point summary. Then we reduce. So we produce the final answer by combining all the intermediate summaries into the second prompt and running the model again. And we get our final answer. So next time you are stuck with an LLM, a query, and a document too big to fit into the context size, think about the MapReduce technique. See you in the next one.